Hi guys, this is Kat from catteacher.com. Thanks so much for joining me. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the basics of downloading ManyCam for the first time and going from something that looks like this to something that looks like this. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to turn on your, your camera, you're going to add a cute little border or an object, and then you're gonna be ready to teach in your dad dad class. Okay, so, as you open up ManyCam, you are going to see a screen that probably looks a little like this, which means that basically you just haven't set up your webcam yet. Now this can be a little scary. You can see the presets are here. Um, if you don't see this little bar at the bottom, you can click this button here, which is your presets, and it's just gonna be the different screens that you can use. So here is preset one. You're gonna click the plus button here, and you're going to add your webcam. Now I'm not gonna add my webcam specifically to this one, but uh, you can see that if one of them doesn't work very well, you can always right click again and choose a different one. Or we can go with something like a blank image. I'll go ahead and pick the sky blue one for now. Okay, so you've got this background that you want to use. You've got your webcam working and you are going to go ahead and go out to your video. Now the resolution uh, is up to you. I personally choose very low resolution to help my computer run a little bit better. The kids will not see a difference in the quality. So um, if you look at this one, you can see uh, it, it looks a little rough around the edges, but the quality is going to be just fine in the dad dad classroom. The computer screen for them or the video screen is going to be very small. So you can up the resolution just something like 720, but see it stretches out my borders because my borders are meant to be at 480 so that you fill up the dad dad video screen and that you don't have those black lines uh, above or on the side of your of your video. Okay, so I'll just pop it back down. Um, it seems to be helpful for the kids and my computer runs much better. Frames per second are totally fine. Um, 30 seems to be fine. You can zoom if you'd like to, uh, that's up to you. Uh, we're just gonna Keep it in picture in picture mode all right so the next thing you don't actually need to worry about your audio that's something that you'll work on in the dad dad classroom so you don't need any audio here um, if you'd like to go ahead and go down to effects we're gonna do the next one so I will switch over to my first one here so pretend that I have just me sitting in here now you're gonna look at your effects now you can add your own category if you'd like to. I didn't actually make any of these categories, so these are probably going to pop up normally. You can go with a background. However, it's going to move the camera out of the... Yes, anyway, so um, it's going to take a current snapshot of you. This doesn't work very well for me, so I use a border instead. So you can open up your borders. Now uh, on catteacher.com, I do have a video on how to change your border. But if you uh, look at a couple of these... So right now I have a background. If you'd like to get rid of anything that is currently on your screen, you can just click the little X right here. So right now I've got a border here. Now this is the old logo, so I'm gonna scroll down to something that has turn off one, turn on the other. Another cute one that I like is this one here. And these are all going to be transparent, except for something that might look like this, which will take up the border around you. Okay, so I'm gonna transition back to my current. So here I am, and I've got uh, the Dada Panda face, which I can click on or off. And my object. There he is. Okay, so you can add a couple of objects uh, that you can mess with around the screen. I have a big one and a small one. He's easier to move around. Okay, so that is about it. That is gonna get you up and running uh, for the very first time on Dada. So you can basically go in to your Dada. You can check your network and devices and you can check out what's going on over here and you can start checking. You can detect uh, your Wi-Fi, of course, as it's running. And the easiest thing then is to simply check your money cam. So we can choose the webcam here. Uh, this works for a lot of people, especially if you just want to look and see how that looks to the kids. Look, the quality is actually quite good still, even though it's on the lowest setting. Um, or we can switch. Nope. 
uh, because my camera is being used by ManyCam, it does not like that. So refresh new devices, get my ManyCam back. All right, you can also do this. Like, like I said, you don't have to mess with the audio, so it's not a big deal. And can you see yourself in the screen? Well, I'm done with this, so I don't need to worry about it anymore. Okay, guys, so that is just a ManyCam tutorial, a little crash course on how to get up and running with Dada. So I hope this was helpful for you, and I will hopefully see you next time on CatTeacher.com. Thanks, guys. Bye.